It's good, right? Yeah. So, George, uh, what did you do in Omaha before the move? I was in waste management. Then uh, that's what brought you out here? In a manner of speaking, yeah. How about you, big guy? What's your story? How's that? Well, I just haven't seen any black people in Utah. Would you get lost on your way somewhere else? No, I'm not black. I'm Tongan. Oh, well, you know, I don't keep up with the whole politically correct thing. You know, I mean, first, you're the Negroes. Then, you're the blacks. Now, you're the African Americans. Now, you're the Tongans. I don't think it's as catchy, but whatever. No, I mean, I'm from Tonga. It's an island in the South Pacific. Oh, like Survivor. I love that show. I bet it's very clean there. Well, that's why we moved here, for my husband's health. The air is better. Yeah, there's no cigarette smoke. So, let me ask you, is that like the body is a temple sort of a thing? What, what's that? The no smoking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a health code that the uh, church practices. I'll tell you something about your health code. I have seen some of the biggest, chunkiest people I have ever seen in my life waddling around Utah. <laughs> that was a rude thing to say. It's not rude, it's just, it's the truth. I, I, I mean, you're giving up the smokes, you're giving up the booze. Maybe you people should think about giving up the baked goods. Chungaloons over here. Maybe we should have made the fruit salad. No, no. no I, I don't mean you two. Two of you are fine. 50, 100 pounds overweight. That's not a big deal. I am talking about fat people. People where you see them walk down the street and you go, fat guy. Look at this guy. He is a fat guy. I seen this guy on Jerry Springer. 1,700 pounds. I mean, what does he do for Halloween? What, throws a white sheet over his head and goes as one of the Alps? 